What is up guys, it's Modern Warfare here and welcome back to another episode of JTAG Tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Black Ops 1 mod menus on your JTAG or RGH console. So um, yeah, this is something I haven't seen a hell of a lot of, especially for 360. I've seen lots of mod menus for PS3 um, and PC, but not very many that actually seem to properly work on 360. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to install that and it's very similar to Black Ops 2's method. Obviously there's two methods of GSC modding on Black Ops 2. You can use um, GSC Studio and you can inject the GSC. So you, there's a G, GSC injector so you can be running the game and inject the GSC into the game while it's running or you can um, use a GSC loader where you just drag and drop your GSC file into a folder in the game directory and then it runs that when you launch the game. This is similar to that method. It's a GSC loader. So first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is make sure you have Black Ops 1 ISO version extracted somewhere on your JTAG or RGH hard drive or external hard drive or USB, something like that, so that you have all these extracted files. My last video, it should be my last video, was how to um, convert games on demand version to ISO extracted versions of the game. So if you have Black Ops 1 as a um, games on demand version, check that video, it shows you how to get it into this format uh, so that you can install these mods. Okay, so all you have to do, it's quite uh, quite simple, there's a raw folder that will come with the menu, I've got this I, it's not the best zombie menu, this I don't think, it's just one I, I randomly got, but again all the menus are pretty much installed in the same way so it shouldn't be too much of a problem, but you'll get a raw folder and you'll also get this raw file manager that you'll want to extract to your desktop and then the raw folder goes inside your Black Ops 1 directory so just copy the raw folder directly to your Black Ops 1 directory through neighborhood or FTP or you can copy it over using a USB stick if you wish just make sure you copy that on there and once you've got the raw folder on if I refresh it should appear at the top there we go you, you next want to go into your retail hard drive or wherever you have Dash Launch installed and what you want to go ahead and do is copy the raw file manager into the root of your hard drive or in the same directory where you have your launch.ini file for Dash Launch. If you don't have Dash Launch installed it's episode 3 of JTAG Tutorials it shows you how to get that all set up and installed. So what you want to do is drag and drop your launch.ini file over to your desktop and run it through Notepad. Scroll down to your plugins Okay, so what you're going to want to do is go ahead and add the raw file manager in here. Now, what I recommend doing is putting the raw file manager as the first plugin because I have had lots of issues trying to get this raw file manager to work when I set it in a different order. Whenever I set the raw uh, file manager after XBDM, for some reason, certain mod menus will work, but others will not work, which is, you know, just confusing. So the only way I could get literally every single mod menu that I tried to work was when I had the raw file manager as plugin 1 and then XBDM plugin 2 and any other plugins after that. So what I'm going to do is just basically cut these and move them forward to the next plugin and then have the raw file manager in plugin 1. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the name of the raw file manager paste it in and save. Now obviously this causes an issue with um, certain stealth servers as well especially uh, what's that stealth server Ninja. So especially Ninja um, I know for a fact if you try and use XBL Ninja it will screw up because Ninja specifically say you must have um, XBDM as plugin 1 and Ninja as plugin 2 or something like that. Um, so when you try and put raw file manager in plugin 1 Ninja will not work. It will screw up. You it will completely screw up your console. So be warned if you're using XBL Ninja. Uh, you may experience other problems with other stealth servers. Um, and another another plugin that I've tried to use with this that causes problems and stops the raw file manager from working was XRPC. For some reason, whenever I had XRPC as a plugin, it also didn't load properly. So the only way I got it to load perfectly every time and got the mod menus to run every time was to have raw file managers plugin one, XBDM as plugin two, and then any other plugins after that apart from 
Ninja and potentially other stealth servers and um, XRPC. JRPC seems to be fine. So once you've got that in there, just go ahead and save your launch.ini and drag that back over to your hard drive and replace the file that was on there before. And once you've done that, you can go back into your game directory, Black Ops 1, and launch the default.xcx for single player and mp.xcx for multiplayer. Another thing, when you're installing a multiplayer menu, um, normally inside the maps folder you will have another folder called MP for multiplayer. Um, so just bear that in mind that the multiplayer GSCs, just in case you get a mod menu that just has the GSC files and it doesn't have any um, folders, then it will most likely go in maps, MP, and then game types, and then the GSC file. Whereas with single player, you just put them straight in the raw folder. Not the GSC files, but the folders. So normally though, a good, normally the creator of the mod menu will give you the raw folder with all the correct directories in here, just like this zombie menu does. So normally you wouldn't have to worry about that. But just bear that in mind. Okay, so all you have to do now is go ahead and launch it. So I've launched the default.xex and we should be able to um, test to make sure this mod menu is working. Okay, so I'm loading up the game now and hopefully this mod menu will work. Like I said, plugin order with this thing is very important because I have had the plugins completely screw up on me before simply by putting them in a different order, um, which is kind of strange because I've been working on some other things through GSC loading on this game for zombies and a lot of them work fine when raw file manager is set as like plugin 3 or plugin 4 but then certain mod menus just don't work whatsoever. So just to be safe, use um, use plugin one for raw file manager, and you shouldn't run into um, to any issues. And there we go. As you can see, it's loaded up. We've got a ray gun first of all, and it says go prone and press X for the menu. The amount of people who never read the bottom of mod menus is just ridiculous. I've had so many people come to me and say on some mod menu tutorials, they're like, how do I open the menu? And they don't bother reading the scrolling text at the bottom that says, like, go prone and press X to open the menu. But yeah, it looks like uh, we've got right trigger to scroll down, left trigger to scroll up. It's probably X to select. Yeah, it is. So that's how that stuff works. Real God mode randomly turns off, so be careful. Okay, well, that's handy. UFO. UFO but not no clip. Turn that off. Got achievements, a bunch of other stuff. And it's right stick to go back. So it's a, it looks a bit it looks this is definitely an old menu. I'm it definitely looks like an old menu. This reminds me of the old menus on Call of Duty World at War, the old ISO menus. Um so yeah, but it, it doesn't matter. You can install other menus in the same way. There are newer looking menus out for Black Ops 1 since this menu came out, I'm sure. So um, don't worry if you don't like the look of this menu because there are much more modern menus that are out for this game now that install in the exact same way. So anyway guys, that's it. Um, that is basically how you install Black Ops 1 GSC mod menus for your JTAG or RGH console. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, comment if you have any questions, and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video. Yeah.